this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Sword from Kamen Rider Kabuto. And now let's check out the details of this figure and also on the accessories. The SH Figure Arts Sword is received with a scorpion motif more evidently on his head. While some joints share with Kamen Rider Kabuto, the upper body is tailored to the main motif. Luckily, what I got doesn't have that bow-legged feature, a common problem with other Kabuto figures before it was reissued. Highlights of the figure include a scorpion tail protruding on top of his helmet, a lime green set of compound eyes, and a sleeker A-frame body that is a core base of the SH Figure Arts half a decade ago. What he comes with are a pair of open spliced hands, a staple for most SH Figure at that time, a pair of holding hands for his transformation sword, the Sword Yaiba. The Sword sector is already attached on the sword. Though it lacks some minor details, the combination of both is just the right scale with the figure. You can also park the sword using a holster that is pegged just above the knee. Good thing is that this will not hinder in the articulation of the figure. Some of the articulation points for this figure, uh, we have just like a head and neck joint here. Shoulder pads go up and down and then upper bicep cut here. It could swivel front and back. Some limitation uh, here when raised, uh, the hands are raised because of how huge the shoulder pads are. We have a really nice upper uh, torso and waist right here. Quite limited uh, if you want to go 360 on the waist because on how the belt or the waist is molded. And then wrist joints and elbow joints, just like the old SH Frig Arts. And then hip joints here, quite nice. And then knee joints here. And then uh, hinge on the ankle here and on the toe. Cool. And the really the good thing really about Kamen Rider's sword is how the paint applications are applied on this figure. Uh, it feels like the acrylic paint um, matches with any like if you saw some car paints, at least it was applied also here. Um, he has a really nice finish, quite glossy at the back, and all the purple paints are really nice. I'm really digging the figure. Sasword lacks the extra hands needed for one of the esteemed riders in the Kabuto line unlike today's SH Figuarts offerings. But what really sets this apart is the acrylic purple paint that was applied, giving that wet finish that is highly appreciated by collectors like me. That is why up to now, this is one of the best sought after figure and if you check online stores, you'll be amazed on how much this costs. Almost 300% what it was in 2009. For a figure that was released almost a half decade ago, Sasword stands among the best and one of Bandai's best figures ever made in the SH Figuarts line. And that is my review of the SH Figuarts Kamen Rider Sasword. If you want to know the possibilities and details for this figure, check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review. This is Firestarter. Thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more toy reviews.